Hey there, how you doing? Okay, eventually I might let you see my face, but not today. Today I'm going to be doing a canvas for a special young lady, and we're going to do it in the squish style again. Um, I experimented with it. I think that this, as a second attempt, will be very interesting, and I think that uh, we are going to use gold. We are going to use yellow and we're going to use white. She loves yellow. So that's going to be most of what we use today. So again, I'm going to lay down an exterior frame of mustard. And I do mean yellow paint. Okay. So that's just going to give us really nice place to start. Then we're going to do some spots of white. Now, I personally thought the white last time was just a little too heavy. So I am just going to drip, 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 drip here. Just so it sort of comes through. Okay. And then I'm going to, I should maybe put my gold in one of those bottles as well. Because I really like the application process with it. So I'm going to put in some gold. With some shimmer, some shine, some razzle dazzle pizzazz. As long as it comes out, there we go. We're gonna put it all over. Yeah, we're doing that. Last time I also felt that I probably took too much paint out of the middle. And I uh it, the the after effect was still quite lovely, but I think it would have been prettier had I left more in there. So the same as with the white I'm doing with the yellow. I'm just going to sprinkle some all over the place just to allow it to do what it's going to do. There we go. We have some yellow, some gold, some white. Oh, that's going to be so beautiful. She's going to love it. Okay. And just because there's just that little touch of white, I'm just going to do a couple more drops. There we go. Sounds like it's raining outside. That little pitter pat of little paint. Okay, so now we're going to take this canvas. And you remember what we're going to do? We're going to flip it onto that canvas and we are going to smush. So we're going to do this. Lay it in there. Give it a good squish and then gentler this time, I'm going to try to take out air bubbles and excess uh, space. There we go. Okay, so there we've smushed, we've squished, we've scraped. Again, not, whoops, and we've apparently wiggled around. Okay, and not nearly as hard as we did last time. So I'm just going to let that meld for a moment. And um, yeah, as you can see, I still have a lot more uh, paint on the floor that I could use as uh, skins for jewelry. But I have so much of it um, that I did some very large paintings. So whoops, over there protecting some. And there's some of the skins that I took off for it. So that's one of the paintings. Behind it is another. Okay. So now let's go back and see how this turns out. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to make you sick there. Okay. So one, two, three. Open oh, sesame. Ooh, very nice. Lots of blank in the center. So I'm going to reposition same place and I'm going to squeeze a little harder because apparently I didn't get enough into the middle so there we go let's try this again one two three open sesame there we go okay and yeah there still are some some blank spots there but you know what? The nice thing is, it's it's uh, it's poor art. 
so you don't have to be super precise. Um, I am going to pour actually some white in there because we don't have a ton of white. So I am actually going to add a few drops of white in there and around and again in here where there are some empty spots and around. Okay. And I'm going to do the smush one more time. I love painting because it is completely um, trial and error. You don't have to be perfect the first time. In fact, you can suck the first 18 times. But once you finally get it right, it is absolutely so amazing. It's such an amazing feeling to have that piece of art that is yours, that you have designed, that you have put together. And um, so there's my yellow, there's my white, here's my gold. And we're going to do the one, two, three smush again. Okay, so again, we're going to go on top. This time there will be no blank spots because I've already filled them in with some white. And I'm not even going to use the squisher. I'm going to just use my hands. All right, one, two, three. Woo, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so over here we've got some gold we've got some white we've got some yellow oh it looks like lemon meringue heaven because it is absolutely luscious looking all right so i'm gonna let that dry for a bit i'm gonna fix up the edges because they need some help just like here and that kind of stuff i'm gonna do a little bit of yellow around all of the edges because it's uh Kind of the main color. Anyway, so I will talk to you later.